What's up guys, this is Dan's How To Videos and welcome to a very special unboxing. Right here I've got my first generation iPod Touch and I thought it'd be really cool to unbox this for you to show you how Apple actually got started with the iPod Touch series here. And uh, I still use this device today. It's still great for listening to music, watching videos, surfing the internet. The only thing is because there is no more firmware updates for it, it is becoming laggy. Anyway, let's get started with the unboxing. Now taking a closer look at the box here, you can see that the front just simply has a picture of the iPod Touch itself in the iPod mode with uh, it looks like a video or a screenshot of an album. On the side of the box, it just simply says iPod Touch with the Apple logo in a chrome paint. On the side, you just have the gigabytes of the model, which this one is the 16 gigabyte model. On the bottom is just some information, warranty, um, basic stuff like that and on the other side again it just tells you how many gigabytes your device has. Alright let's open up the box see what we got inside and of course the iPod touch itself is sitting there to greet us. I'm gonna take that out and I'll put it to the side we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, it came in a little tray like this put that to the side as well Oh, and it had the cleaning cloth here which uh, I never used but uh, it was there and it says iPod on it now the manuals, another thing I probably never even opened here, we'll look at that, it's probably just basic information, basic paperwork from Apple. It looks like we've got Apple stickers here, got a uh, warranty manual, or is this the warranty manual? Yeah, this is more warranty and like information just about, I guess, consulting and stuff like that. You've got your quick start guide, two more of them in French, we'll open up the quick start guide really quick for you see what it's all about, see how it looks. And you can see that uh, it's got the old headphones there, the older ones. But anyway, that is it for the uh, paperwork, the boring stuff there. It came with a dock here, which I never actually opened up. I don't even know how it works. I guess I could have played around with that, but I never really used this and uh, didn't really find any need for it. And of course, you have your 30 pin uh, USB charging adapter here. It didn't come with a brick for the wall. And that's pretty much it for the unboxing part. Let's get into the iPod Touch itself. Now at first glance, the iPod Touch first generation looks very similar to the second, third, and fourth. That is until you look at the side. Now as you can see, this is a much thicker device here. It is a very thick and it has two layers here, one layer being the metal backing and then it has a plastic layer here which is very ugly. Uh, it's an ugly plastic finish that surrounds the whole device around the glass. Now I don't know why Apple went and did that. It does help for durability I guess but it just looks awful. Now tying in with that we'll look at the bottom of the phone here and you can see surrounded in that ugly plastic is your 30 pin adapter port here to charge your device. You also have your headphone jack here. And uh, again, tying in with that, you have no volume rockers or no way to silence the phone on the side. So that means all media had to be listened to from your headphones. There was no external speaker on this thing. Moving on to the back, it had that classic chrome look. It was easily scratched, smudges showed up everywhere. Personally, I didn't like it. But uh, it does have the Apple logo here underneath it saying iPod in a gray matte finish. It also told you what gigabyte your device was. Top left, you had your Wi-Fi connectability. On the top, you have your power uh, button. The front side, again, your home button and your 3.5 inch screen. Very tough glass, not sure what it was, but uh, I didn't put a screen protector on it and I have no scratches whatsoever. So that's pretty much it for the iPod Touch first generation. That is a first look for you guys. I thought it would be a cool idea to show you how Apple got started. And basically, I mean, from this to this, I mean, it's, it's night and day. I mean, but you could still use the iPod Touch first generation. I still use it today. Very good for a lot of things. The only issue is you can no longer update it. Anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button down below. Show your support. Subscribe up top for more tech videos and how-to videos, and I will see you in the next one.